Hey everyone, welcome to day 54 of Airy National Holiday! And today we have, well actually, I'm not gonna lie to you, we have such a long list that I have to write it down. So, here we go. We have National 3D Day, National American Diabetes Association Alert Day, National Chia Day, National Chip and Dip Day, National Education and Sharing Day, National Mobile Toast Day, National Near Miss Day, National Puppy Day, and National Tamales Day. So without further ado, let's get into it. For the first holiday for today, we have National Chia Day. So let's go ahead and bring it out. Okay, here are the chia seeds. And we have them uh, in this baggie. So I went to Winco and bought them in Bulk Foods. And uh, I thought for today I could put them in some yogurt and eat them. Well actually, let's go ahead. Oh, that feels nice. Oh yeah, I feel like the beans. You know, like when you're a kid and you stuff your hand in the bean pile? That's what it feels like. I never did that. That's nasty. I would, I would you know. I gave you a spoon to scoop it with. <laughs> oh. Okay, but it's too late now. So let's go ahead and give them a try. You know what? When, when you say chia seeds, I thought about the chi 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 chias. Is that the same thing, right? It is the same thing, isn't it? They just give you a bag of chia seeds to plant in the heads or whatever? I don't know, I never had one of them. But I always wanted the Shrek, the Shrek. <laughs> the Shrek one? I always wanted the Shaggy one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops, we ran out of memory, but we're back now. And uh, like I was saying, yeah, I've always wanted a shaggy one, you know? Like, those things were always so cool. I want a shaggy because, like, okay, I can kind of do a shaggy impression. So here we go. You guys ready? <clears throat> like, Scoob, you want to eat a sandwich? And then, uh, what else? Oh, the zoinks. Zoinks! <laughs> oh, man. I should totally apply to be shaggy in the next cartoon, you know? Mexican shaggy. Maybe he has a Mexican brother that he never knew he had. Come on, Scoob! Zoinks! <laughs> All right, on to the next holiday. Here we are at the table celebrating National Tamale Day. And here we got a hot tamale. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice try. So as you can see, it's filled with chicken and uh, cheese. And over here we got a little salad. And right here we got two servings of rice. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So we got this from Trader Joe's actually. Um, I was debating whether making my own tamales or making like a small batch and then, you know, eating them. But uh. I remember eating these one time and I was like, like, oh hey, those are pretty good, you know? So for this holiday, I was like, I'm gonna go back and buy them again and give them another try. And they're still pretty good. So this is a chicken and cheese one, like I said before. So the best way to get them ready is to steam them, which is what I did. I went ahead and steamed them. So they're nice and ready. And um, yeah, man, I got a good plate of food here. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat it all up. Um, I got salad, croutons, tomato, and then the rice is just uh, rice with uh, of course seasoning in it that's some rosemary on top and uh yeah guys on to the next holiday All right i just remember we have two more food items so one of them is melba toast so here today we're going to use bimbo which is a uh, melba toast is pretty much just like bread. bread that becomes crispy so here it is melba toast i don't know if you guys ever tried these before but these are like super super crispy i think they bake them so that's how they get like nice and crispy but anyways i'll call this melba toast i remember growing up i used to get these all the time I need to put peanut butter and jelly on them and just eat them like that. Um, it's better just like one piece like that, you know. Like if you make a sandwich, it's not really like, it's not sandwichy, you know. It's too crispy to be a sandwich, so just like that, top side open. Yeah, it makes a really, really good snack. You can also put Nutella. You can put any topping you like, actually. But uh, yeah, guys, so here we are, Mobile Toast Day. Next, we have Chip and Dip Day. So here we got my Chip and Dip. We got uh, some dip, of course, and then we got some chips. I like any pita chips. These are really good, the uh, Stacy's. We got Parmesan and garlic flavor and herbs, of course, and herbs. And then uh, these are super, super crispy. These are kind of like the baby version of these, you know? <laughs> They're so crispy, like you can like, it's pretty much like a crouton, actually. I would compare this to a crouton, um, which I have right here. And these are like very, very similar. This is just like flattened out and this is just not flattened out, you know? Anyways. Let's go ahead and put it into our hummus here. And I love hummus. Hummus, like, I've never like, tried hummus before. But then one day we just bought it and we tried it. And it just tastes like refried beans, honestly. Like, it just tastes like beans. And I know it's chickpeas. It's not beans, but... Hey, man. You know. It tastes the same, so... Mm-mm-mm-mm. And you probably hear that. You probably hear how crispy it is. It's super... Crunchy, crispy. The pita chip and the hummus really complement each other. So it's just a overall great dish, great snack. 
So if you're trying to fight off hunger pains, this is a great way to do it. <laughs> Alright, we're on to the next holiday. Here we are celebrating National Near Miss Day, and today is the day to celebrate the asteroid that almost killed us back in 1989. Um, I believe it was asteroid for, um, 4581 Astelepius, I think it was called, I'm not too sure exactly. So yeah, back in 1989, we all could have died from an asteroid that hit, that nearly missed Earth. And um, I, think, I think that just goes to show that like, you know, no matter what's going on in life or no matter how hard things may seem, like at the end of the day, like if Yellowstone were to erupt or if we get hit by an asteroid or something, like we're gonna have a mass extinction or something. And it's just like, you know, just live life to your fullest every single day. Do what makes you happy because you never know, man. Another asteroid can come and just end it all. All right, on to next holiday. I feel like the dinosaurs. Here we are celebrating National American Diabetes Association Alert Day. Ooh, that's a mouthful. And uh, today's the day to get tested for diabetes or learn about your family heritage about diabetes. I know myself personally, both my grandmothers had uh, type 2 diabetes. So I know that it runs in the family. I know the chances of me getting diabetes are uh, pretty high up there. I probably should take better care of myself, you know. But in my defense, I really don't like soda or I don't like eating candy too much. Um, I guess the sweetest thing I eat the most of would be cake. I eat a lot of cake, uh, a lot of pound cake, a lot of, uh, I think just like things like that. Pastries, ooh, that's the word I'm looking for. Pastries, I love, love, love pastries. Pan yema, eat it up all day long. Muffins, I'll be there. Cupcakes, count me in. Oh, those Japanese cheesecakes? Oh yeah, man, you know I'm tearing those up. So yeah, pastries, that's my only weakness. All right, on to next holiday. Here we are celebrating National Education and Sharing Day, and today's the day is dedicated to sharing information and you know just education in general. And uh, I think for today I'll give a shout out to my favorite YouTube channel for education, which is SciShow. They have a really good segment. Plus they have a lot of sister channels that also do the same thing, and they have like crash course, and uh, it's really like just really really good stuff, you know. And uh, I think I just finished watching their Eons, uh, like you know the whole Eons playlist. That talks about like the beginning of Earth, you know, from like single cell organisms to the first uh, eon, and then like how humans developed from like marine life, and then like you know this this re is really really interesting. You guys should check it out, you know. And then you learn a lot about dinosaurs too, about how like some dinosaurs didn't even live in the same time period as other dinosaurs that we know about, and like some dinosaurs like you know becoming mammals. It's really really interesting. So yeah, guys, if you ever have time, check out SciShow on YouTube. Uh, you've probably seen him at school and stuff, but like watching it outside of school is even better. Alright, on to the next haul. Here we are celebrating National 3D Day, and I thought for today we take a look at my 3DS. I don't know if you guys remember Technology Day, but we took a look at it. And uh, I want to talk to you guys about how the 3D worked in here. Like, it is insane. You guys had the first 3DS, you know what I'm talking about. That 3D sucked, you know? Like, it'll give you a headache, you couldn't focus on it, and it was like really, really like pretty terrible, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, you had to get like a sweet spot just to see it. But this one, the new one, it had the face tracking right there and the face tracking would adjust the 3D to work for your eyes. Okay, here we are, close and personal. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but look at that 3D screen. Like you guys can tell like when I turn it down, how like the screen shifts like slightly and you can tell that there's two lines and that's pretty much just like for each eye. It's, it's, it's some really insane technology and you need, using 3D on the 3DS, you know, it became like second nature, you know, because like it was just so, so smooth and the technology for face tracking just got so much better. So if you guys ever have a 3DS XL or get a chance to buy one, I would say definitely buy it. If you guys don't remember, I said this is my favorite console of all time. The 3DS is still my favorite console and it is an amazing, amazing piece of hardware. So yeah, guys, on to next holiday. All right, here we are celebrating National Puppy Day, and as you guys can tell, my puppy is a little bit special. Uh, I think she's like bilingual or something, so I think that's why she looks that way. But she is the cutest puppy in the world, and she loves eating strawberries, and she loves living in a strawberry. So here she goes. There you go. All right, guys, I think I'll do it for today's episode. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye Tofu, say bye to the camera. Welcome to the end card gang, I really do appreciate it. Go ahead and spam some bread in the comments and uh, I really don't have much else to say for today. Um, life's been great and um, you know I'm working every day and 
we only got like 13 more windows to install and then after that we're all done so i'm looking forward to that and i'll see you guys uh, tomorrow peace